Hey, and welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over some of the ways to quickly add edge loops to your models. If you want to follow along by picking up the tutorial files, check out my VFX Fuel membership over on Gumroad. Okay, I think the best place to start is with the multi cut tool, which we can get to by holding shift and the right mouse button and then go into the multi cut tool. We can go ahead and draw our edges manually like this, just click into cut or we can hold control to add an entire edge loop. If you want to go ahead and put it exactly in the middle, uh, you can set a clicking with the left mouse button, press the middle mouse button and you get a nice edge in the middle like this. If we just go ahead and go into the tool settings, we can actually turn on this thing called edge flow. And what this is going to do is going to edit the flow of our new edge, taking into consideration how the mesh subdivides. You can see how we're now maintaining this nice curve, which is often pretty useful. And I, I guess like one final thing which can be useful to know about this tool is slicing. We can just click and drag and slice our mesh however we want. This can be useful like if you wanted to add an edge through a lot of separate objects. And it's also good to know that holding shift will give you a straight line. Right, so swiftly moving on to the insert edge loop tool which you can get to by holding shift and the right mouse button and go into insert edge loop. This tool is similar to the multi cut tool, but we also get some nice extra options. If we just go ahead and draw an edge here, we can actually see how the edge is now a relative distance from the existing edge. We don't always want this. So something we can actually do is just set the tool to equal distance. And now notice how we get limited movement. That's because we have constraints to work in because of the tightness down here. But you can see how everything has become a nice consistent distance from the edge. Another nice thing which we can do is add multiple edges with one click. So let's go ahead and just try adding two. And then all we need to do is click to add them. And you can see we get two equally spaced edges in that gap. Next is a quick one. It's a part of the quad draw tools which we can get to by going into the modeling toolkit by clicking the icon up here. This tool is full of functions, but keeping it to the theme of this tutorial, we can actually just add an edge by holding control and hovering over an existing edge. And then it's just a matter of clicking to add that edge or middle click to add it to the center. Another quick one, and this one is super quick. Go ahead and select the edge, which you want the new edge loop to flow through. Control and then right click and then go to edge ring utilities and then to edge ring and split. And that's literally just going to slice through and can be a very fast way to quickly add some edges in a couple of mouse gestures, which leads us on to the final method in this tutorial on how to add edge loops in Maya, which is the connect tool. Right, so we can get to the connect tool from the modeling toolkit panel as well or by holding shift and then the right mouse button and then go into connect tool. We do get some nice functionality. For example, if we click and then use the middle mouse button to drag from left to right, we can actually change the settings. So with some switching between the connect options and the use of the middle mouse button, you can see we can achieve some nice support and edges rather quickly. And we can just go ahead and hit enter to confirm those edges and we're good to go. If we just go ahead and reset the tool, I'll just cover one more topic. If we go into face mode and just select some faces, I'm just gonna use tab to paint the selection. And now if we go ahead and activate the connect tool, we get this nice result where it's going to draw the edge through our selection. And of course we can edit the options to get exactly the result we want. Again, the Maya files are available through the VFX Fuel membership and joining the membership not only gives you access to some cool perks, but it also helps the channel out too. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. Come chat with me on the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.